Okie dokie, here we are, the beginning of the live stream, nine minute countdown now on, until the show actually goes live. This also appears as a replay in many places, so um, if you are watching the replay, feel free to skip forward by 8 minutes and 47 seconds and get straight to the content of this hour-long show. It's a show for audio producers, for DJs, for radio people, for podcasters, any kind of business, entrepreneurial person who likes creative audio, this show is for you. Yo, David, good to see you. First one active there in the chat, along with Rovigo55 as well. Nice to see you active and uh, and there with a spanner ready to go, along with Nightbot. I'm sure Isabella will be in as well. Thanks to the early birds who are joining in. Uh, do feel free to uh, mention in the comments who you are and where you're from and what you're up to today. Working on anything exciting? So building a killer DJ intro, really excited to get into this one. Uh, you're going to learn all about pacing those DJ intros, making them sound epic, adding some nice delay to the voice, slightly pitching it, building energy and tension, and then a big crash, <laughs> and getting into the first track. Louis in. Hey, what up? Doing good. What's up with you? doing very well indeed. I always enjoy this little pre-show chat bit. If you are watching live, you can just comment away in the chat box and I will shout you out and say hello to you before we go live in 7 minutes and 13 seconds, as you can see on your screen right now. So you've got time, go grab yourself a hot drink and would really appreciate it if you would share this, by the way, with someone you think would enjoy it. If you've got any DJ mates or... Um, or audio producers who you think would enjoy this session. Really would appreciate if you'd share the link to this broadcast. And I just wanted to do a little straw poll with those of you watching now ahead of the, the live show. Really curious about your answer to this question. Please post it in the comments. Like, Sterny's in. Hi, Sterny. Um, when you watch this show live, when you're in live and you're watching for the hour, do you pay full 100% attention to the show for the whole hour, or are you doing other things at the same time? Do you watch the uh, the video lots, or do you tend to have the audio on in the background or on another screen while you're working on something else? If you could let me know in the chat, I'd be really interested to know what your feedback is on that. Sam Blitz is here, listening and raring to go. Diego Peters, good afternoon. Busy, but watching quietly. Isabella, of course. Isabella is always busy keeping the MRC ship afloat, uh, but very kind always to be in the chat here as well. The moderation fairy, queen fairy of the whole lot. Gosh, is that the time? Five minutes, 44 seconds. We are getting ready to go very soon. By the way, for those of you that are not already involved, and I hope a lot of you are, do go ahead and join the community over at community.musicradiocreative.com. Like Sadiq Ali, I can see you have questions. Best place to ask them is community.musicradiocreative.com. That's the place we can kind of continue the conversation from this show uh, when it's off the air. Because I'm only on for one hour out of 24. So for the other 23 hours, you can hang out there and ask questions. Really good new stuff on there about the Synaptic Unfail plugin. <laughs> unfail. I mean unveil. Unfail. It could help you to unfail too. Um, some news of Rogue Amoeba's 15th anniversary sale. They make good software for Mac. Hey, it's good to see Joe back. Joe Salmi's there with the moderation spanner ready to go. I can see David Lewis as well. Nice to see you there. We've got a viewer on Twitch as well. Hello to you on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash music radio creative. Over at community.musicradiocreative.com, uh, some folks sharing their audio projects. Pop shields for microphones, big debate. Should we have a shield or should we go naked? Most people saying we should have a shield, by the way. Best frequencies for voiceovers. All in the community right now if you're interested to join up. Ross Maxwell's there. Hi, Ross. Leonardo, nice to see you. I sit on my bed, watching and moderating the chat, listening to Mike, and watching the screen when workflow is happening. Yes, David, I know you're a super engaged viewer, and I really appreciate you for that as well. 
but I'm just curious, for those of you who've just joined now, do you watch the show fully, 100% with all of your undivided attention, or are you doing other things at the same time? I'm guessing many of you are working on other things. Maybe some of you on air at a radio station, others just working away on the computer. Barbara Allen's there, morning to you, and it's good to see you back. Or good afternoon over here. It's uh, just around four minutes to two. Yeah, David agrees with the uh, microphone pop shield. Spittle protection. Don't want that corrosive, salty, acidic spit getting inside the elements of a nice microphone. Hey, Joe, no worries. I figured you'd be busy. (laughs) And it's okay when life takes over. (laughs) It's good to have you there. Joe's in, David's in, Isabella in, all with spanners looking after things. Multitasking like a beast. (laughs) 100% Leonardo, I appreciate you. Also, I've been uh, reading through your answers to the survey. Uh, If you're not filled it out, uh, I'm, I'm doing a survey currently as to what you'd like to see on the MRC live stream this show that's about to start at mrc.fm slash survey and it's good to see that a lot of you actually tune into the podcast uh, when you can't catch the live video so uh, I'll keep putting that out it's obviously a cool thing Uh, Diego Peters listening watching and tagging music Uh, the Phoenix of Liberty yeah you've got to be careful with those capital letters Nightbot doesn't like that but I can see you just made a sweeper using tips around five minutes ago that's awesome the Phoenix of Liberty Type it again, but in small case. (laughs) I'm currently in the final stages of setting up a radio station on the south coast of the UK, says Sam. Whereabouts on the south coast? We're just off the south coast, offshore on the Isle of Wight. (laughs) Madricon back from Germany, good to see you. Darren Short, addicted to these, well that's good to know. Thanks Joe for helping the Phoenix of Liberty out there. Good old Nightbot, huh? Ah, thanks, David, for sharing the link to the Oms. Yeah, if you like all this Oming, (laughs) gets you into the right state of mind, doesn't it? Have my videos in a playlist. Thanks, Diego. Barbara says, most of the time I watch the show without interruptions. It's 7 a.m. here, so sometimes I'm still in bed or working. Depends on the day. That's cool. Good to know. All right, get ready. Sam's over in Eastleigh, just outside Southampton. Fantastic news. We are going live in just over one minute from now. See you then. Bye. Testing the left speaker. Left. Left. Testing the right speaker. Right. Right. Testing phaser. 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 All frequency sweep. Stand by. Stand by for music radio creative live with Mike Russell. MRC Live. Music radio creative live with Mike Russell. Starting in 30 seconds. It's good to have you there watching this show live. I am so excited to be back on with you as I am every single weekday, Monday to Friday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. UK time. This is the MRC live stream. Oh, I'm so excited. Coming up, building a killer DJ intro. I think you're really going to like it, so stay tuned. Audio production and more. This is Mike Russell on MusicRadioCreative.com Oh, there we go. And that's especially for David Hunter because I know, I know, David, that you really like the jingles for this show. Hang on, one more, one more. Can we have one more, please? Monday to Friday live. This is Mike Russell from 
www.musicradiocreative.com Now I know what you're thinking, that looks really weird. You miming to a female voice, Mike. (laughs) And you're not wrong. Uh, So what have we got coming up for you in this show? It's going to be so exciting because uh, we're going to build tension, enthusiasm. We're going to pitch shift. We're going to do delays. Uh, We might do a few stutters as well. And we're definitely going to use some EDM music here uh, to build up a killer intro that really bangs and gets your audience's attention, whether you're playing it on a huge sound system in a nightclub at a huge dance event, or whether you're using it on the start of your DJ podcast or as a show intro uh, to your mixtape or something that you're publishing up on Mixcloud or Soundcloud. Uh, We'll get you covered for all the strategies and techniques, uh, kind of best vocal effects to use, the best sound effects to use, where to source those sound effects, uh, how to use them all. It's going to be so so exciting. I can't wait personally. Sorry, I'm in a jingle mood today. Uh, So what is new here at the MRC Studios on the Isle of Wight? Uh, Just before we get into the the content, which I'm about to do, uh, I have had a bit of a busy day here today. Uh, I'm suddenly, for some reason, I'm I'm on two podcasts uh, in one day. Uh, So I I chatted this morning to my my good uh, long-term friend, John Buskell, from the Moondog Marketing Podcast. Uh, Go and subscribe to that show. I don't know when it's going to go out, uh, but I recorded with him this morning. So John Buskell, Moondog Marketing Podcast. Go and check it out. He's a good guy. And uh, later on, in a couple of hours, when I finish this show, I'm going to get prepared and ready to be on a show uh, that I've listened to a few episodes. I really like it. I think you might like it too. It's called The Podcast Engineering Show uh, with a host called Chris Curran. Uh, So I'm talking to Chris later on recording uh, for his podcast to eventually be on it. So that's been exciting. What else has happened? Well, take a look at my screen. Aha, you might notice a brand new background. Hang on, let me minimize the uh, the browser window or move it out of the way. You might notice that I have a brand new desktop wallpaper and it's not from uh, Reddit. It's a native Mac wallpaper. What does that mean? Yes, I upgraded uh, this morning in the early hours uh, to Mac OS high Sierra and um, I made a post over at our community site community.musicradiocreative.com about my experience with it uh, it is of course the new operating system that uh, Apple have just released for all iMac users and I got to say I'm really really impressed uh, I would say pretty much 90% do upgrade. Uh, It's faster, it's snappier. I'm using a late 2015 iMac and I really like it. Things just seem to work better. I think it might be the new Apple file system or something like that that's uh, doing some magic under the hood. Uh, They've made loads of optimizations and I kind of like the fact they didn't rush the release of a brand new uh, Mac OS. They've kind of called it High Sierra and just done uh, little glisses and little licks of paint here and there. And I can really feel that this is running faster. The only word of warning I will give you as an audio fan or audio producer is that um, I can't quite get my audio units uh, to work, you know, particularly my Waves plugins. Um, Let me show you. If I go into Adobe Audition, everything else is fine, though. It's loading very fast and very zippy. It's very nice. So if I go into Effects now, you'll see in Audio Units, the only ones I've managed to install, obviously in native Apple effects, um, Isotope is there too. That's working but I can't get Waves installed as audio units, and I don't know why. It might be a macOS High Sierra thing, or it might be that Waves need to update their installer or something like that. I just don't know. Um, But I have still got my Waves plugins as VST3, so I'm kind of okay. But just a word of warning, if you're a Logic Pro X user or GarageBand user, you might want to just beware because you might not be able to get your plugins to work once you upgrade. That's the only thing. Uh, as far as I know, the live streaming's working fine. I just set everything up this morning and it seems to be good. If you notice anything uh, that's wrong or glitching out, particularly with the audio, because I, I think my audio interface is playing well with High Sierra, uh, then you might want to just let me know in the comments, which I will mention in 10 minutes from now, by the way. So if you uh, post any comments uh, while I'm on, I will definitely get to them and uh, and mention them, or as many of them as I can. Just going to drag some stuff into Adobe Audition here. Um, I did a completely clean install of macOS High Sierra, by the way. I like to do that every year, just have a kind of wash out and start again, because everything I use is in the cloud. Um, 
So yeah, Adobe Audition has pretty much reset to normal for me. The only thing I did manage to do before I went on today is set up my MRC template, uh, which I use every day, so I really need that. DJ intro, we'll call this. Uh, okay, like that. And yeah, it's all there and it seems to be working fine. Uh, audio inputs and outputs are all set up. Uh, let's check. Uh, I want to go to the Soundcraft Signature 12. That's what I use. And I want a microphone input and I want to output on channels 7 and 8 of my mixing desk. Click OK. Let's play a tune over here and see if it works. Uh, right. Go. Yeah, and that's on channels 7 and 8 on my mixer. Which is a... Uh, uh, a single fader stereo track. So I might use this for a DJ intro. And I was also, for some reason, I'd also earmarked this for a DJ intro, which could build some energy as well. That could be quite nice indeed. Thanks, David, for sharing the link to my Adobe Audition presets. I can see my, my face is looking a little hot. You see, these are uh, with the lights, yes. This is the kind of feedback I really appreciate. Because like I say, I, I'm trying to set up all my settings as they were before with the reinstall. Uh, but yeah, there will be a few things that will be slightly different today. So uh, if I look a little hot today, I might have to change the settings and hopefully I'll be cooler tomorrow uh, for you. <laughs> the other thing I did was install uh, the brand new Google app um, called Google Backup and Sync. Uh, which links with Google Drive. Now, if as an audio producer, you're doing loads of heavy lifting with um, audio files and bits like that, Google Drive is something I recommend for cloud storage. And I used to hate the native Google Drive app. It was just <laughs> doing all kinds of bad things, like duplicating files and stuff like that. Well, apparently they fixed all that. And I have to say, this Google backup and sync little cloud thing is running much smoother than I remember the old Google Drive app. So, um, Good stuff all round. Happy celebrations all round in the Music Radio Creative Studios uh, today as we've got shiny new software and uh, everything seems to work, apart from my face, which is too light today. Sorry about that. Uh, so uh, let's have a look here and see what we've got. I think we have got... Ooh, does not match the sample rate. Okay, fine. Uh, so what have we got there? Let's have a listen to some of this audio. I think this is quite... Line one, take one. Oh no, maybe we'll use that later. Uh, I wanted to... Ah, this is Al, our American voiceover from Music Radio Creative, uh, doing a great, tense DJ intro build-up. Welcome. Welcome. By the way, if you wanted to order Al or any other of the voice artists over at musicradiocreative.com, uh, we've got some tools over there, by the way. Uh, instant downloads, DJ drops. We've got three different packages here. Each package gives you 16 different DJ drops uh, for that uh, tiny price, which is really cool. Uh, you can use the coupon MRC Live when you check out at musicradiocreative.com. It gives you 10% off across the board. Even if you want to buy some uh, sound effects to use, like these, similar to those, because I know a lot of people ask uh, how to get them, you can get them at musicradiocreative.com. You can even use that coupon to get discounts on those sound effect packages as well. So, all in all, it's um, it's a fun coupon to use. MRC Live at checkout to get that discount. Now let's get a drone. We'll start off with some tension here. Drones are always good. And I'm not talking about the things that fly above your head. And I'll also have a riser somewhere in this intro. Something like this. Should sound good. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I'll take one of those and uh, maybe a wipe. Uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, give me some of that. Right, and then this, let's have a listen to this music track uh, on solo. And find out where it kicks in. Somewhere around there. And then let's see how this music track progresses. Eventually it's going to really build up. And then let's see how it ends. Hmm, bit of a disappointing end, really, isn't it? Right, uh, so in that case, uh, we're going to just move that in there and have a play. Oh, of course, reinstalled Adobe Audition and snapping is on by default. 
don't like snapping, so I'm going to switch that off. Snapping, uh, for those of you who have not used Audition before, if you have it on, it will kind of snap to the nearest thing or waveform, which is good if you're trying to do matches, uh, but generally I tend to leave that off. Um, now let's have a listen to how Al is sounding. Welcome. Um, we'll probably need some kind of impact. Something like that. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Uh, so we're going to start off with Al, and I think we need to fatten his voice up a little bit. Um, might do this destructively in waveform. I'm just going to copy that cut of the DJ intro, pop it into a new audio file, I'll call it Al, Al's intro, like that, paste, and I'm going to do some pretty funky stuff here with the uh, mastering tool. I have discovered recently, and I've started using this so, so much, um, to actually process voiceovers because it can do some magic. I usually go for the subtle clarity uh, preset, uh, and then what I'll do is I'll use the loudness maximizer to really crush Al's voice down. Let's watch how that, oh, of course you won't see it until I use a preview window. Now watch down here so you can see the waveform change as I whack the loudness maximizer up. Look at that, yeah. That's really doing magic. Welcome. Oh, and it even puts a bit of reverb on. Don't think we need that right now. Welcome. Bit more. Welcome. Welcome. And I'm going to use the exciter to add some distorted treble. Welcome. 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 Okay, so with that uh, mastering process, it sounds like this. Welcome. And then without, it sounds like this. Welcome. What a difference, huh? This. Welcome. Or this. Welcome. So let's uh, now apply that. And if I zoom out, you'll see the difference. Look at that. Top is the original waveform. Bottom is the processed waveform. And as a DJ intro, uh, we really want this audio to have the maximum impact possible. It's especially important to add heavy compression to vocals uh, when you know that these intros will be played in various different environments. Like, for instance, maybe this is going to be played in a huge nightclub and uh, we really want Al's voice to be the centerpiece of the production. Yes, we're going to do some clever stuff with sound effects, um, but if people can't hear what Al is saying, uh, it's not going to be a very good DJ intro. Uh, also, I can see some funky uh, noise going on there. Hang on, let's have a listen to this. Yeah, there's a bit of studio uh, feedback there, so I'm just going to run a little bit of noise reduction here. Noise reduction, uh, we'll just capture the noise print there. Don't show me that message again. Okay, that's done. And then select again the whole file and noise reduction process. And you should see if we get a preview. Yeah, it's pretty much welcome. Yeah, it's still there. So. Let's just turn that noise reduction up a little bit. Welcome to my world. And actually, let's go to spectral frequency as well, because we might have some clues as to where that noise is. Oh, isn't that interesting? Um, right, let me just show you this. If you look at the top waveform here, there is a little bit of noise around there. That's around the, the two kilohertz mark. There's some kind of tone. can't hear it, it's too quiet, but it's there. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to use noise reduction to just take out uh, some of this stuff, just turn it up a little bit more. And turn that setting up a little bit more. So now we should get a cleaner sound. Welcome. Welcome. I can still hear some bits here. Let's take this up a little bit. That's going to leave more noise in, take it down. Welcome. That's better. Down, down a bit more. Welcome. Yes, that's getting better. Welcome. Taking the spectral decay rate down is really helping. Welcome to my world of electronic dance music. Because I don't want any noise to interfere with the, um, the tension and the energy of this intro. Okay, so what I've done so far is applied uh, some uh, special effect here, mastering, and I use the uh, loudness maximizer to really compress Al's voice. Look, if I run it again, that's really going to compress it. Welcome. 
Yeah, that's a bit too much. Uh, and and the exciter adds some trebly distortion. Also happened to notice uh, a little bit of noise on the recording, uh, so erase that with noise reduction restoration in the effects menu, capture noise print, and then noise reduction process with a few tweaks. Um, often if you can't get rid of things uh, the first time, uh, you can run it again a second time. And this is something I got direct uh, from Durin Gleaves, who's the uh, the product manager for audio at Adobe and obviously looks after Adobe Audition. He told me that tip, and I'd never thought to do that before myself, but if you have a problem erasing sounds, actually what you might want to consider doing is just running noise reduction a second time, and it can give you a sort of better result uh, rather than trying to crank the, the, the settings right up and run it once. Just keep it a little bit lighter and run it two times. Let's listen. Welcome. Gosh, that's even better the second time. Welcome. Let's listen to more. To my world of electronic dance music. Yeah, so a big shout out to uh, Duran Gleaves going there for uh, the, the tip, ninja tip, shall we call it, of uh, running the noise reduction process more than once uh, because then you, you just simply get a better result. I don't know why it works like that. Duran could probably tell you why it does, um, but I certainly know that I like the sound of it and I like the way it's working. So all in all, a really good thing. Now, I do see we are 16 minutes into the show already. It's absolutely unbelievable. And did you know there is a telephone number you can call? It's a US number and you can get on the air with me live during the MRC live stream if you want to, of course. This is the number to call. 415-800-1055 Plus one if you're outside the United States. Normal charges apply, so check with a bill payer. Music Radio Creative.com 415-800-1055. Just add plus one at the start if you're outside the United States. Now, um, before I get back to building that DJ intro, uh, let's have a look at what you have been saying in the chat. Ian is there on Facebook Live, seeing as this is a DJ intro post, just a heads up for DJs not to upgrade. It's not working with Serato DJ yet. We're talking Mac OS High Sierra. I mentioned it at the start of this show. Uh, okay, so yeah, apparently they're telling DJs to hold off upgrading. There are always teething problems with these upgrades, but usually they get patched and fixed pretty quickly. Uh, like I say, I haven't experienced many problems yet myself. The only thing I notice is it's faster. So thanks for that, Ian. Uh, we got Cincinnati uh, watching over on Twitch. Hi there, finally caught the show. Nice to have you there, Cincinnati. Uh, do share it with your Twitch mates. I'm, I'm trying to uh, <laughs> expand on the Twitch platform. It'd be lovely to do that. Um, what have we got over here on YouTube Live, over at youtube.com slash musicradiocreative? Uh, bottom Production and Media is there. Uh, David says it's 10.30 in the evening in Australia, or probably even later now, and 21 degrees Celsius. Warm night. Yeah, yeah. That's about the hottest it gets during summer here in, in the UK. Uh, <laughs> That's nice. I do miss Australia very much, actually. Uh, thanks, Drunken Solitaire. Jingles are awesome. Aren't they just... I really like the jingles. Monday to Friday live. Barbara would prefer to watch the live stream at night. Not a morning person here, but hey, I guess you're an early bird now, aren't you, Barbara? Nice EDM, Madricom says. What else have we got in there? Gaming Anonymous is in. We'll talk to you. Because Gaming Anonymous wants to know how to record a crystal clear voice on Android. Uh, I don't know. I just got the Samsung Galaxy S8. It's got a pretty cool mic, actually. You just kind of talk into it and and record. It's good enough for uh, podcasting. And then watch some of the videos on my channel. It might help you to uh, neaten and tidy up the voice a little bit. Uh, Dimitri says, nice to see you and your guests. Hello from the Ukraine. Nice to see you. Uh, what else? Do you have mics or simply a phone? Uh <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what you mean there, uh, but hopefully we'll we'll get to that. Uh, maybe I need makeup. Yes, because I'm glowing today, aren't I? I'm glowing. Now I think I probably just need to turn down the um, some kind of contrast on my webcam settings. Uh, let's see if I turn the exposure down a bit. Oh no, that's not good, is it? <laughs> it's hoping to fix it. Maybe turn the brightness down a bit. Oh, oh, that's healthier, isn't it? Yeah, I've just turned the brightness down a bit. Do, do I uh, do I look healthier now? 
or not? What would your your recommendation? Anyway, I'll, I'll have a play later on and get the settings back to their usual service. Uh, Liz Lot Keys says, thanks, bro, for the vid. Uh, did I ever get Waves Debreath working? Yes, I did, Barbara. Uh, I demoed it yesterday on the live stream. Worked really well. Uh, Jess, hi there. Finally caught the show. How's everyone doing? Nice to see you joining in with the live chat, Jess. Really good to have you there. Um... Uh, oh yes, a nice tip from uh, David. If you want to avoid snapping when snapping's on, hold down control when dragging your stuff around, uh, which is really, really cool as a tip. Uh, got a viewer uh, there from, is that China or Korea? I'm not sure, uh, but thank you for tuning in. OMG, it's you, Mike. Uh, seriously, how did you do that? And what mic do you use? Uh, it, oh, it's nine o'clock in China in Hong Kong. Nice to see you there in Hong Kong. I use the TLM 103 from Neumann. Great microphone. Uh, Jacob's watching from Chicago in Illinois, which is good. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's looking better now, so might stick with that setting. Let's get back to it uh, and produce this DJ intro, though. Uh, so you can see uh, after running uh, noise reduction over this uh, and a little bit of processing that everywhere in between the voiceover now is black, which is as it should be, so no noise or background hiss. Uh, so we'll bring Al's intro in, and we'll start to play with this. So let's see what we can do. Welcome. That kind of thing, yeah? You know, energy. And uh, this is 128 BPM, so I'm going to work to 128 BPM. Welcome. Um... And it's times like this, I wish I had a grid in Adobe Audition. Uh, instead, what I will do is get the next best thing, uh, edit tempo. We're going to work to 128 BPM. So important in the DJ world uh, to be creating intros and uh, jingles to a certain BPM so that you can give it to the DJ and say, okay, this uh, intro was created at 128 BPM. And then I just need to do for time display bars and beats. Boom, 128 BPM. Uh, so now we know we're on the ball here, so. Welcome. 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 Might leave that uh, for a whole bar. Welcome. Yeah, that, that really brings the energy. Um, sometimes I wish there was, like, minus a beat so I could start it later on, but uh, never mind. I think that'll be enough for now. Let's just tighten that up. Do a fade there. Welcome. And then if I uh, create a new track here, of course, making sure to route it through the voice effects bus. Uh, let's move that down there. I am going to put on to the effects rack uh, something like the echo here or analog delay. Let's go for analog delay today. can't hear anything on that track. I wonder why that is. That's really weird. Where's my welcome? Welcome. There's my welcome there. But no welcome there. Welcome. Ooh. Why is analog delay not working? Default. Welcome. Oh, phew, it is. I was just... <laughs> just one of those moments where your heart skips a bit. Uh, sk skips a beat. At the start of the show, I'm like, everything's working on High Sierra. Apart from analog delay. No, analog delay is working. Thank goodness. Uh, so now I'm going to use uh, one of my favorite uh, websites. Let me find it for you. Uh, it's called, um, where is it? Um, I'm just Googling for it now. So there is a site here. It's... Uh, not quite a very user-friendly URL. Uh, it's uh, sengpealaudio.com slash calculator dash bpm tempo time dot htm. I'm just going to pop that in the YouTube chat. And I use this all the time when I need to find out what BPMs are in milliseconds uh, without doing calculations myself. I just, uh, I really should have this on a bookmark, actually. So I can see here 128 BPM. Uh, quarter is 469 and eighth is 234. Uh, so those are the settings I can put into my analog delay. Maybe I'll put 469 to start with, see how that sounds. Welcome. Welcome. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if we can up the spread. Welcome. Welcome. 
Mm. Instead of analog delay, I think I'm going to go for the traditional echo because I think you can do more with it. And you can you can put, say, 469, a quarter, there, and you can put 234, which is an eighth. These are millisecond values over there, and we should get something like this. Welcome. And, of course, you're EQing progressively there with successive equa echo equalization. Let's turn the bass up a bit and take the treble off a tiny bit. I don't want to go too trebly. Welcome. Something like that. And, of course, you can change the echo levels, feedback levels, bits like that. Echo bounce is something I like to use quite a lot, particularly on DJ intros. And what it will do is it will kind of bounce the welcome left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So in that aspect, it's similar to Waves Audio H Delay plugin. It'll go welcome, 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 welcome. And it sounds really good. Let's try that. Welcome. There we go. Uh, let's have a look here. Thank you for that uh, notification to check out the new features in High Sierra. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, echo bounce on, delay unit milliseconds. Hey, actually, this is something I've never looked at before. Uh, in the native Adobe Audition echo, it, you're kidding me, it has beat, wow, oh wow. <laughs> All the times I've used the echo rack effect, I did not realize that you can delay your echoes by beats. That would make it a whole lot easier than having to go to that website and pull out the millisecond values. So hang on. And apparently I'm not spot on. That should be one beat. And that should be half a beat. Oh, wow. Welcome. Nice. Sounding smooth. So that's another way to do it. Change your delay time units. And I guess if I go to milliseconds. No, that's not right, though. That's not right. Because that's 120 BPM. So what's going on under the hood there? Where is it taking that beats value from? Because I've set my tempo. I have set my tempo to 128. So why does the echo plugin still think I'm at 120? What if I take the echo plugin off and put it back on? Anyone knows the answer to that? I am learning something every day. It's amazing. Let's just take it off and take it on again. Beats 1.5. And we'll go back to Millisa. Now, why is it doing that? Okay. I thought it was a good feature, but I can't figure out how it works. Someone watching must know. David Silk, you must know why that is. Why is it that I put beats there and it gives me the value for 120 BPM? A super handy feature if it conforms to uh, the actual BPM I'm working in, which is 128. If not, I will need to go back uh, to using values such as 469. And 469 divided by 2 is 234-ish. And that's 128 BPM. Welcome. Okay, and I'm just going to, yeah, uh, pop the bass back in here. Pull some treble out, particularly at the high ends. Welcome. Perfect. That's the kind of energy I want. And then I'm going to have a play with uh, pitch shifting. All right. Even David Silk does not know why that is. So we need to... Um, I'm going to pop a thread up in the community later on about that and see if anyone else knows why or if we can at least figure it out. Maybe it's in the, the manual. But who reads the manual, really? <laughs> um, I'm determined to find out why that is the case, though. Welcome. Okay, so I'm just doubling up Al's welcome there, and then I'm going to switch on pitch shifter here. Welcome. That offsets the audio a little bit. Take it down in sense. Remember I was showing you this yesterday? Rather than doing semitones and going down deep in pitch, just a little pitch down, maybe uh, minus 50 cents. Welcome. And you can hear that's adding uh, more character to Al's voice. And I could maybe double up again. And over here, making sure that's going through the voice effects bus also. I'll add on another uh, pitch here. Pitch shifter. And we'll go down by 75 cents here. Welcome. And then we'll pan you to the left slightly. We'll pan you to the right slightly. Welcome. Oh, wow. Now we have got energy uh, at the start of this. So we got... And you know, I'm fancying a little bit of reverse verb as well. Uh, reverse verb. Boom. Pop that in. 
Uh, let's put in a little bit of... In fact, no, let's do something different. Uh, let's insert silence. Let's do reverse echo instead. Uh, so I'm going to create the silence. Of course, that's working in beats now because I'm in a beats mode rather than a time stamp mode. Uh, place my little uh, marker there. And then this is how you do reverse reverb. I've done a full tutorial on reverse reverb before. Uh, we want to go to effects and reverse it. And instead of reverse reverbing, I'm going to uh, get into uh, analog delay. This is where I'm going to go for 234 milliseconds, which is the 128 BPM. <laughs> or maybe 469. 469. <laughs> Perfect. And then we'll trash it up a bit. Nice bit of trash there. Feedback up. Not too much. Take the spread right up. Take the dry down. The wet down. Subtle, subtle. That's the name of the game there. There you go. That's an echo. And then, of course, if I then reverse it back, we get something like this. And we'll pop this reverse rub verb bit in and bring that to the start of our killer DJ intro. Here we go. Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's put the fade differently on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Might need to be a little different with that. Turn that down a bit. Why is that off center? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Maybe down here. Perfect, yeah, on the chorus track it sounds good. And then on beat one of bar four, I'm going to do this. To my world. To my world, starting on the beat there of every track. To my world of electronic dance music. And I'm going to, of course, uh, triple these up like that and like that. So we get that pitch shift again. And we've got something like this now. To my world of electronic dance music. And I thought we could do a kind of progressive phaser on this. And this is where I'll start a new track to kind of make Al get more and more mutated as he goes along, kind of like he's changing into an alien and really freaking out the audience. Uh, so uh, let's just go over here, hear this dry. To my world of electronic. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try and use uh, a Waves uh, modulation plugin. By the way, if you really fancy any of these Waves plugins, I think they've got their 25th anniversary sale on right now. Um, so you can go and check out the prices. I have a 10% discount coupon that can even be used on sale prices at Waves Audio. Uh, just go to mrc.fm slash waves to grab that. And I think I'm going to use Metaflanger, which is a really good Waves Audio plugin. And take a look at this, because we can do all kinds of things with this. Uh, if I go in and choose... Uh, should we go for? Let's go for this one. To my world of electronic dance music. Um, slow rotor. To my world of electronic dance music. And if we do this. To my world. Yeah, that's interesting. To my world. Now, I wonder, by the way, always best when I'm doing effects like this to be listening in stereo, either on headphones if you can, or definitely YouTube Live uh, has a, a great way of um, listening in stereo. Now, I'm curious as to whether it's possible to do uh, really fancy automations on Waves plugins. And yes, it is. Ooh. Okay, so uh, rate in hertz. Uh, rate in hertz. Have we got that? Yeah, we, oh, we have. Oh, I'm so impressed. Uh, because I wanted to try and do something like this. To my world of electronic dance music. Uh, 
Do you hear how it's getting progressively more and more wobbly? To my world of electronic dance music. So that's using an automation which you pop down here and then you just go in, show envelopes, Metaflanger, and you can choose pretty much any setting that's available to you in the Metaflanger plugin. You can access and automate uh, here. You just click it and then it appears as an automation part of your, um, your piece that you're working on. Uh, so what have we got now? To my world of electronic dance music. Do you know, I'm not sure how noticeable that is, so I'm going to swap out Metaflanger, despite liking it, uh, for an equivalent plugin in Adobe Audition, and that is the uh, chorus. Let's go for chorus. To my and let's go on solo again. To my world of electronic dance. Well, that's too much. Default. And again, it's the delay rate. To my world of electronic uh, actually, we could go for, let's try the flanger instead, see how that works. To my world of electronic... Uh, let's go for oral. To my world of electronic dance music. Let's just have a play with that and see if that sounds any different. Um, modulation rate. I'm just going to kind of, uh, fire this up a little bit. To my world... To my world. Let's start from uh, a little further down. To my world of electronic dance music. To my world of electronic dance music. So you can hear how it's getting progressively uh, crazier. And you know what? I might actually slap on a bit of time and pitch, pitch shifter here. And... Uh, We'll pop that into the uh, uh, automations there, and I'm just going to take you down a little bit, Al. To my world of electronic dance music. Let's take it right down. To my world of electronic dance music. And then take the volume down so it doesn't interfere too much. To my world of electronic dance music. And then I did want to start using this. Uh, I'm not sure how early I want to start using this. Okay, that's obviously way too loud in the mix. Let's take that down. So this is the next part of the intro. And starting on the beat there, of course. A world full of heavy beat. And uh, what I'm going to do with this is slowly bring it in using um, track EQ. And we want... Um, let's see. Low shelf gain or high shelf gain. Let's go for... Um, Let's go for high shelf gain. And of course, make sure on the mixer that we have uh, the EQ automations enabled for the track. Now, um, let's take this right down. Okay, so if you listen to this on solo, you'll hear what this automation is doing. And when you get here, where I've bought suddenly the high shelf up, kind of like turning a, a fader to suddenly turn it back up. There is actually, I believe, uh, let's have a look if we can find it, uh, effect, uh, filter, hmm. Uh, there is a really good uh, one knob, I don't know where it is because I'm used to delving into audio units, there it is, one knob filter. Uh, we can have a play with that instead. So let's... Um, Let's just reset that automation for the moment because uh, I might not use it. Or actually just delete those delete those keyframes for a second. See, this is, this is the perfect tool for the job. Uh, one knob filter stereo from uh, Waves Audio. You can do this kind of stuff with music and DJs do this all the time. Uh, one knob is a great set of plugins. I wouldn't buy them separately. 
um, if you're purchasing, I'd actually buy the one knob pack and you get a ton of good stuff. Uh, and mrc.fm slash waves will give you a 10% discount if you wanted to consider getting that package. So it does this kind of stuff. And I think it's really cool. And obviously you can change the resonance here to be high. Uh, it just makes it a little more responsive and squishy. Listen to this. It's got more if you've got the resonance up high. And then extreme is going to be even more. Really wobbly. And obviously none. Then you just get that kind of smooth. It's basically an EQ change uh, if you've got none, but I think moderate is, is a happy medium. And again, we should be able to write this in as an automation on the track. Let's have a look here. Uh, show one knob filter. Um, filter is what we want to play with here. And yeah, so we're going to take that all the way down to zero to start with. Or one. So you can just hear the beat there. Let me turn that up a bit. You can just hear the bass now. And then as I start writing that uh, automation in, you'll hear it gradually increase following that line. And that's what I want. When when building a DJ intro, generally you kind of want to build the energy and uh, and get people excited about what's about to come. So you don't want to come and go full throttle with all the energy and like, this is the great show. You want to kind of build things up. And this is just what um, a plugin like One Knob Filter will do for you or any kind of EQ automation really uh, will help you out to get that sound. Uh, now it's coming up to 42 minutes in the show and I didn't pause halfway through uh, at 30 minutes in to uh, read out your comments. So let's take a look at a few of your comments uh, now. Uh, but first of all, did want to remind you if you're watching live between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. UK time, you can call any time you like and get on live with me and we can have a chat about anything. You can ask me a question about audio. You can just simply say what you're up to today, uh, plug your radio station or website, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is the number. It's a US number. You can call this number now. Yes. Get ready to note it down and make a phone call. I would love you to make a phone call. The number is 415-800-1055. Plus one, if you're outside the United States, check out how much it's going to cost you before making the call. MusicRadioCreative.com Nice. Mike Russell is controlling transmission. So it appears. <laughs> so here we are on uh, Facebook Live, and we've got uh, Mark saying, Hello, Mike. I'm watching in... Palawan in the Philippines. I hope I said that correctly, Mark. Uh, that's awesome. Good to have you here. S.Y. Bradley. I'm looking for some VOs, mate. Uh, yeah, go to musicradiocreative.com. We've got a selection from all over the world, including different languages. And the coupon code MRCLIVE, all one word at checkout, will get you a further 10% discount on anything you order from Music Radio Creative. Um, what have we got here in the chat? Uh, we got Rex. Uh, hello, Rex. Nice to see you there. Rex Hollingsworth is there. Um what else? Uh, I've saved that in my bookmarks for sure. Referring to the BPM calculator I mentioned earlier, it's a handy little site that is. Uh, what else can I say? Robert Doman. Uh, good to see you back, Robert. Great to see you back. I believe watching from Germany. We have a uh, quite a nice uh, base of viewers uh, watching from Germany, so it's great to have you there. Uh, and uh, any way to control the echo fall off, like exponential decay? Yes, there is, Rex. Actually, I'll show you that in the automations in a moment. You can definitely uh, toggle about with that. Um, Leonardo says, uh, that's something to ask Jason Levine. Yes, when I was talking about how you can make the echo effect uh, link with the BPM of a track, I thought that setting the BPM uh, inside the preferences of Audition would do it, but it didn't seem to. Uh, so, yeah, maybe Jason has got an idea on that. Uh, definitely would like to know the answer sooner rather than later because it's a good feature. Um... What else have we got here? Uh, Liam Zinn, I would like to say thanks for the feedback on my post in the community. Yes, Liam uh, has posted some stuff up in the community, and you can too. 
over at community.musicradiocreative.com. Uh, loads of cool stuff going on, loads of discussion, loads of people in there, and it's for just basically audio fanatics that want to learn more about audio production. Head over and join up. Uh, another thing, if you're liking what you're hearing today, you want to do some of your own productions, over in the DJ section under Instant Downloads DJ Drops, we've got some spectacular uh, DJ Drop packages, each of them containing 16 pre drops that you can kind of use as a further template uh, to create your own intro. Really reasonably priced. And again, the coupon MRC Live will give you a further 10% off the price you see on the website. Um, this is so epic. Thank you, Phoenix of Liberty. It's very nice of you. Thank you, David, for the uh, the wonderful post, by the way, and the link to uh, Waves Audio. Uh, cheers, Joe Sami as well. Uh, very nice to see that. Kiza Games is in. Mohammed, nice to see you. Uh, good vocal effects all round. And, uh, oh, we have a viewer, I believe, from Russia. Unfortunately, though, I don't speak or read Russian, uh, so I don't know how to uh, respond to you. But it is really good to see you uh, watching there in Russia. Let's go back and uh, do something else and see what we can do. Music radio creative, dum, dum, dum. Oh, come on, don't be so grim. <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, right, so yes, echo automations. We can do stuff like uh, if you want to tail an echo off. Uh, let's just take this off solo for a moment and bring this one knob down. It is a good knob, by the way, isn't it, David? It's a great knob to have in your arsenal. Dance music. So if I wanted to tail that off early, I could just use like volume automation, I guess, like this. Dance music. Although I've noticed that the echo is not on that channel, it's on this channel. So let's twiddle that down and take that down like that. Music. See, it went off really quickly there. Uh, so you can kind of control uh, the extent of an echo like that. Uh, right. Uh, what else was I going to do here? A world full of heavy beats and pure energy. Right, let's lift this up now using one knob. Take out some of these automations and start bringing that in to full. To my world of electronic dance music. Probably want to move that in sooner. Of electronic dance music. So we want to be at full there. And I'm just wondering whether to change the resonance to uh, extreme. See how that might make a difference. And let's move this along a little bit here. To my world of electronic dance music. Yuck. That sounds disgusting. Let's make it high. To my world of electronic dance music. Yeah, I can live with that. That sounds better. For some reason, the extreme just wasn't working very well there. A world full of and I'm going to knock it off a little bit again. A world. This is why I absolutely love one knob. Look at the way this is moving when I mess with the automations. Just watch how that moves. Faster than you could turn that knob, for sure. A world. Uh, right, uh, now I'm going to do something slightly different here. I might just drop off the, the echo for a bit. Now we've built tension. A world full of heavy beats and pure energy. Uh, so let's take that off here and that off here. And uh, let's bring that over there and that over there to give it more flow. A world. Actually, I think we could get away with turning that knob down even further. I'm just going to be a little courageous and adventurous here. A world. A world. A world. Full of heavy beats and pure energy. A world. Full of heavy beats and pure energy. This is our... I'm thinking energy, 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 energy. Aren't you? Are you thinking energy, energy, energy? Uh, let's let's try that and see how it works with the track. So energy is around there. Let's just put that there. More energy, energy. Yeah, something like that. Energy, energy, energy. energy, energy, energy. 
and then I'm going to obviously do the uh, the critical and very important pan to the left and right. Oh man, this is making me want to wave my hands in the air and start dancing. Uh, let's go from the top. No, I think that uh, one knob could come in a bit sooner. Let's try it back here. I think we're going to need a little more energy. Yeah, and then I'm going to take the energy down here. Turn this whole track down a bit. Go back. And I think I'm going to tail off a little bit of this drone as it goes on, because I think that's interfering a bit. Welcome to my world of electronic dance music. A world. And then we need to bring in one of these. Yeah, that'll do. That will definitely do. Um, we are going there, at that bit there. We're going to turn this down. The world. The world. The world. Too loud. The world. Full of heavy beats and pure energy. That's my favourite part of the DJ intro so far, where he says energy a few times. Uh, let's move that onto the beat here. And just going to go slightly off there, see? This is a pass. This is a pass. Present and future. Ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's just move this all out of the way so we can see what we're playing with here. Energy, energy. This is a pass. Let's bring that riser back in because that was sounding. Energy, this is, this is, this right, I'm going to do something dramatic here. Uh, shoot me down in flames if I get it wrong. Energy, this is, Let's move that in a bit more. Energy, energy, I think I'm going to need a new track down here. There we go. This is our path. Pull that in there. This is our past, present, and future. And then we want to wash it back in again. So sometimes I like to just pull all the music out for a moment just to make people think. Uh, oh my goodness, what's happening now in the intro kind of thing. Present and future. And then back into the track. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Maybe from there. Let's see how that fix fits or fixes. Uh, back there to the start. Ladies and gentlemen. Or we could go without the music. We could kind of live in. Future. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Zoo Loud. Zoo Loud. Nice. And just fade that out at the end. And maybe bring the echo back in for the final bit. Zoo loud. 
cool. And uh, see if we got anything else. So we got something to play with there. Uh, let's feel how the flow is now and what needs to be done. But we're kind of getting there. I mean, this is by no means finished. Uh, we're nearing the end of the hour, of course. I would uh, uh, spend much more time tidying this up and doing other little subtle bits. But hopefully we've seen a lot in this session, like, for instance, one knob automating there, uh, playing with echoes, double tracking, pitch shifting, uh, spacing out with stereo. Uh, we found out all about playing with sound effects, and putting them in the right spots uh, using the BPM template. I also discovered this really cool feature that I'm going to figure out how to work. Echo allows you to use beats as your delay time unit, uh, but I couldn't figure out how to set the BPM there, so that's something I need to look into. So, so far we got this. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my world of electronic dance music. Do you know what? I might keep the music going now I've heard how the um, it progresses. Uh, I might just make sure I use one knob to kind of pull it down a bit, but I don't think it's the right place to lose the music there. So let's just um, pull that down a bit. This is our past. This is, this is our past. Present and future. Actually, I can hear there's a bit of a riser going on there, you know, like you get quite often in dance music. Actually, it'd be nice if I could kind of match up with that riser and then I could make use of that somehow. So let's see if I can. Um, might need to just change the structure of the end. Present and future. So this might need to move out of the way for a second. Present. Uh, let's just pull that up a little bit more, so we're kind of getting our audio back. Because that's beautiful. I wouldn't want to lose a, a super riser like that. Ladies and gentlemen. So that, and then I could put that there. This might just work without major surgery, which is good. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's move that out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen. Now I wonder if that little clap at the end of the riser, I can just put a bit of false reverb on the end uh, to finish it off. Copy here. Give us all your reverb. Uh, oh yes, I think it is um, some kind of special anniversary today. Hang on, let me uh, Google it. Because Alexa told me this morning, and I said, oh yeah, I've got to mention that today on the show. Um... Let's have a look. Um, yes. It's an Abbey anniversary today to the Abbey Road album released on September 26th, 1969. Wow, that is truly amazing, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, the Beatles released, uh, what was it? A classic album. Uh, so a good time to celebrate Abbey Road Studios in London. So what better way to do that, a more appropriate way to finish off the stream uh, than going into VST3, Reverb, Waves, Abbey Road Plates Stereo. Let's put that on, turn the wetness down a bit. Perfect. Bit more wetness, actually. So I was just using Abbey Road's uh, very own um, plates designed by Waves Audio uh, to just finish off and give us that sound there at the end uh there we go that is pretty much it for today's show i hope that you have enjoyed yourself apologies if i didn't get to read out your comment i try to read out as many as i can uh, it's not always easy to get to every single comment so don't think i'm ignoring you uh, i'm just doing my best to keep up with them but you can keep the conversation going 
over at community.musicradiocreative.com. I would love to see you there. I'm an active participant and will do my best to answer any audio questions you have. In the meantime, have a fun day and I will see you the same time tomorrow from 2pm to 3pm UK time right here. 